Hey guys, Patrick with Created Workshop here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at three easy projects that you can do on your laser today. All of these can be done with materials that you pick up locally, and honestly, it's pretty great. Some of the materials might be cheaper on Amazon, but you should still be able to find some of this stuff locally, whether that be at Michael's or at Marshall's, Home Goods, uh, even Joanne Fabrics sometimes, or heading to your closest Hobby Lobby. Um, Ross even has some of this stuff. So honestly, you can get some of this stuff locally. You might already have some of it at your house. But anyway, we're gonna get right into it on three different things that you can make with your laser today that would make great Christmas gifts for friends and loved ones. First up on the list is going to be some slate coasters. I picked up these slate coasters at Michael's for about $5.99. Now they were on sale at the time, uh, so we picked up two packs of them. But if you start to do a lot of these, they have a pro pack that's even cheaper per each to get them. So that is something to look into if you're gonna be doing a lot of these. But these make great gifts. You can take and put monograms on them like you see here. You can put funny sayings on them like you see here. And these would be perfect for any Christmas gift or birthday gift or really any occasion. They would even make a great wedding gift with uh, a couple's name on it now that they're married. So slate coasters are a great choice because slate is naturally absorbing as well. I wouldn't put any finish on it. That would kind of negate the purpose of using slate. It looks great when it's engraved and when water drips onto it, then it'll evaporate out eventually. So no harm done, it keeps the surface safe that it's set on and it looks great too. Most slate coasters that you get as well will come with feet. That means that it'll sit off of the surface and not on the surface like some coasters do. So slate coasters are a great choice for really any occasion, but especially with Christmas coming up. The next good Christmas gift is, well, a Christmas ornament. You see these wood discs here that I'm showing on screen. I got these from Amazon, but you can also get them from Michaels or really anywhere that would sell that kind of stuff. Amazon's probably gonna be the cheaper place, but if you need them today, you can go to Michaels and buy them. They have different sizes, they have different wood species sometimes, and they look amazing once you engrave on them, put a hole through it, and use some twine, which you can also get the twine at Michaels or Joann's. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies that I'm mentioning, none of them are sponsors, but these are places that I have personally bought some of this stuff to use, and it looks great. Again, with these ornaments, you can put somebody's last name on it, you can put a funny saying on it, or even do what we did here and put some Bible verses on it. We've got another one that's got a manger scene and it looks great too. Some of these files we have designed ourselves, other ones we have purchased off of Etsy. It really just depends on what you're looking for. Some of them even from a website called Creative Fabrica, which if you're not using Creative Fabrica, you really should head below, click on that link and give them a shot. We've bought a few files from there, but honestly, their free files are fantastic. They're licensed for commercial use, if you ever wanna sell something, and they give you unlimited uses, even on the free files. That's also something you wanna look at if you're trying to make your hobby into a business. But they still just have great looking designs that we, you can use, and both of our bacon designs have come so far from Creative Fabrica. Last up is gonna be some charcuterie boards. These that you see here, we picked up at Hobby Lobby in their fall clearance and they look great. They're made from bamboo. They're a perfect size for a little small charcuterie board um, or to even hang on a tree or hang in your kitchen. Now, if your Hobby Lobby is sold out, we went back the other day and they were completely wiped out, then that's okay. Cause really the idea here is to take these charcuterie boards or even a cutting board and engrave on them. You can go to Marshall's, you can go to TJ Maxx, Home Goods. Uh, Ross, really anywhere that you can find discounted cutting boards and charcuterie boards, bring them home and engrave on them. And if you go to one of those stores that I just mentioned, there's gonna be so many different styles and variety there that you can get everybody their own design. That way, as they open up their presents on Christmas morning, not every board looks the same, even though you bought them from the same place and threw them on the same laser. Making Christmas presents with your laser is easy and simple. It really is. It doesn't have to be big and complex. You don't have to spend tons of money on files or on materials. You can just go to your local store that's just down the road, pick up some material, come home, and that same night start to crank out these Christmas presents for friends and family. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. 
those slate coasters, they're $6, and you can give those just as a four pack to a friend or family member, and they will cherish them if you personalize it. And it only costs you $6. Those wood rounds, I got mine in a pack of, I believe, 15 or 20 on Amazon for somewhere between 10 to $15. So each one costs somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, I don't know, 50 cents to a dollar. And again, those are so valuable when you give them to a friend or a family member, especially if you take the time to personalize it and customize it. Now the cutting boards can be a little bit more expensive depending on what you get or where you go. But in the end, that is something that somebody will use each and every time they prepare a meal. They will pull it down, they'll look at it, and they'll see that you customized it just for them. They're gonna love it. So if you're looking for some quick and easy gifts to make with your laser, doesn't matter what laser you have, all of them are capable of doing any of these engraves. You might wanna run a material setting test in Lightburn, which we'll go ahead and show right here on the screen as I'm talking if you've never used that before. It's really simple to do and running this material test might use up one or two pieces of your material, but it will also show you exactly how you should be engraving. That way you can get the exact desired outcome you want without having to waste a whole bunch of pieces. Now you've got three things that you can go out and make with your laser today. But if you're looking for something that's a little bit more handmade, Stay tuned for next week's video because next week we're going over three things that you can make in your shop with wood or other materials so that you can also give as Christmas presents or birthday presents to friends and loved ones. So be sure to like this video if you liked it. If you disliked it, well, there's a button for that too. Also, if you really do enjoy the comment, I would greatly appreciate your subscription. It's just down below, it takes a single click to do. And also, there's that little bell next to it. That'll let you know when we upload next week. That way you can see those handmade gifts that we're gonna be doing, which we will do some of them completely by hand with just different various hand tools, very simple and easy to do. And others, we will use the CNC, which is right here next to the laser. That way you can see both options for doing it. And then, of course, all of those projects will go on the laser, which if you're curious what, what laser we use, it's also linked down below from Saint Smart. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or remarks on the video, maybe some video suggestions that you'd like to see in the future, drop a comment below. Hope you're having a great one today, and we'll catch you in the next one.